Well, hello. Welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today I'm in a hotel room in Richland, Washington. Uh, we're here for a film festival, but we got in very late at night, so I didn't really get to see anything about the town or about the hotel. I know that it's sort of south central eastern Washington. I know it has something to do with Hanford. I know it had something to do with the Manhattan Project in the 40s. But other than that, not much. So this morning, I'm going to go out in the light of day. I'm going to see what kind of amenities this hotel has to offer. And we'll see what's going on with the town, maybe. Hmm, complimentary guest breakfast. Definitely want to check that out first. Diced eggs, little sausages, mm. and tiny muffins. Fitness center, dry sauna. There is a gym, fairly well appointed. Game rooms, foosball, table tennis, air hockey. What the hell? Mm, I don't think this is actually working. I don't know where the rackets or the paddles or the balls are for the table tennis, nor are there any balls for the foosball. A little disappointed in the game room. Business center. outdoor pool. Unfortunately, it looks like the pool is not yet open. But it looks cool. Ice machine. Hmm. Yeah, that's good ice. I feel like I'm in part of the hotel that I'm not supposed to be in. It's like some sort of strange liminal space. The Columbia Chamber. It's a weird place. By the way, I don't think I ever mentioned the name of this hotel. It's called the Riverfront in Richland, Washington. Looks like it was one of those older kind of motor in courtyard style hotels that they have purchased and renovated. The rooms themselves, not amazing. You can hear everybody as they go by outside. The sink is in the main part of the room, so you can't quietly get ready in the morning if you have a partner with you. The amenities themselves, not bad. I've been locked in. Okay, I keep hearing about this riverfront trail. Let's see if we can find that. Oh. This is not bad. I wouldn't really call it a trail so much as a sidewalk, but pretty cool. This is the Columbia River, by the way. 
not bad, not bad. And we still have the film festival to go to. So, like I said, actual hotel rooms, meh. But the pff, hotel, lots of midges, gnats. But the hotel itself, as far as the amenities and the location, pretty good. the Hanford nuclear site and it's kind of crazy we haven't seen a single other vehicle driving on this road and we're just in this wide expanse of kind of high desert with chaparral and sage and supposedly we're two minutes away from the nuclear site supposedly we're two minutes away from the nuclear site and we haven't seen anything I, I don't know it seems like we're not supposed to be here but apparently there's a tour we'll see uh, Google Maps sent us basically to the actual Hanford site, to the reactors. We found a guard shack. We drove up and it didn't look right to me at all. And basically there was a soldier with full, <laughs> full gear and his weapon and actually had a very stylish hipster mustache too. Um, but it's basically like, yeah, this is not where you want to be. You have to go back into Richland and there's some other site. But of course, Google Maps sent us here when we looked up the museum so there you go we almost went into like a top secret controlled access nuclear site uh nuclear site sorry i know people are going to correct me uh so yeah interesting well that was an interesting experience when we were driving out there it was so deserted there was this huge you know multi-lane road um but not a single other car was on the roadway. And then I could see reactors in the distance that were still operating and it just seemed weird. And then we finally got up and there was obviously like a guard shack and very friendly. I actually pulled off the road first cause I'm like, this doesn't seem right. And there are all sorts of warning signs. And then finally we pulled up to the, to the guard station and a very nice soldier told us that we were in the wrong place but google maps sent us out there basically sending us to the hanford nuclear reactors the operating ones that obviously they're not going to let you tour but then we found the place um it's the manhattan project tours but i don't know if we're going to have time to actually do it it's not I think they take you out to a site, maybe. Um, it's the Manhattan Project B Reactor Tours, but we're going to go in the office and we'll see what happens. Weird. We almost snuck on. Well, I guess we didn't almost snuck on, but we tried to get into a restricted top secret nuclear site. Oops. Everything around here is very into the nuclear past of the area. We have the Bombing Range Brewery. I noticed that the local high school team, they're called the Atom Bombs. Uh, the towing company at the hotel, or at least the signs at the hotel parking lot, were rad towing that had the nuclear symbol. Uh, they're into that history here. Thank you. Yeah, there's not much as... I there's not much as far as an actual museum in here. This is just where you would go on a tour, but or you would leave from here to go on a tour. So unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to do that today. That was a fun little experience, though.
knows that I inherited her terrible sense of direction. Yet what is it she said to us? It's on the left, girls. You can't miss it. Very specific. He didn't just do that. Tried to get out of paying her child support by burning her house down. How would that get him out of child support? He tried to burn her house down while she was still. What's that? What? Hey, you! Get away from there!